Hi, I'm Marie Planchard here at SolidWorks. I want to talk to you today about a special project. This is a small foam plane. And when I saw my interns playing in a particular conference room before a meeting, of course I turned it into a project. This is the cutout of how the plane starts. How would you create this in SolidWorks? Okay, so I asked my intern Greg to help me out. Greg is a mechanical engineering student at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Let's see how Greg did. Create a new part, select new, select on part. Right click on the top plane, click sketch. Select tools, sketch picture. Browse and select a picture. Greg took this picture with his camera and saved it as a JPEG file. You can adjust the overall size, width, height, and also change a rotation angle. Now select on the sketch tools. In this case, create a few rectangles to indicate points of symmetry and also where cutouts are going to be. Next, add dimensions and a center line. The center line tool is located under the line tool. Center lines are great to use when creating geometry that needs to be mirrored. Select on Spline. Use the Spline tool to trace the profile of your picture. The more points you add, the more accurate it becomes. But don't worry if you have little gaps because we can change those. The Spline tool needs to be used for both wings and also the body. Right click on the points of the spline and change their properties. You will see tangent arrows that are displayed to control how the spline behaves. Don't forget to use the spline tool on all parts of the photograph. Close the spline if you want to create an extruded body. Next we'll use the trim tool to get rid of any little pieces of geometry. With the power trim tool all you have to do is drag your mouse pointer over geometry to be trimmed. Let's use mirror. Select the vertical center line and select all the entities to mirror. You'll notice that the cutout isn't exact. That probably ha happened in the die. This is a pretty low cost foam plane, but we'll make it symmetric in SolidWorks. Select on Features, select Extruded Boss Base, and enter a depth. Now, all pictures, because of multi-body functionality, are extruded. Select on Appearances. You can change the color by selecting a color swatch, in this case red. Select File, Save. Now select all the pieces of your plane. From here, we'll make individual parts. Select on Insert, Features, Save Body. The first body I will enter a name for. In this case, Wing Large. Repeat for the other parts, Wing Small and Plain Body. All my parts are named. Click OK. Click Yes to save the changes. Now open up Plain Body. Browse and select your decal. Greg created this decal in Photoshop, but you can use other artwork software to create decals. Select on New, double click on Assembly. Click Browse and select the parts you need to insert. The Plain Body is the first one. Click OK to position the plane body at the origin. Browse and select the other parts, small wing and large wing. Now we need to mate the wings to the plane. The first one is I'll mate the large wing. Select on Faces to mate the small face cutout of the body to the small face cutout of the wing. And I can also use edges to mate the small edge inside the body and also the small edge of the wing. The flat face can be used to mate the flat face of the wings to the flat faces of the body. You match faces 
edges, and surfaces in mating in SolidWorks. Now my plane is almost ready to fly. But save the plane. We've included the models to help you in the SolidWorks teacher blog.